You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin, for supporting The Coffee Hour. You can find out more about them at cuw.edu. We are recording at the National Youth Gathering 2019 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah. Real Present God is the theme of the National Youth Gathering this year. And we've had a blast getting to meet a lot of people. And one of the people we got to meet today is Connor Works. He's on the executive team for Lutheran Youth Fellowship, also known as LYF. Connor, thanks for joining us today here yeah. at the KFUO booth. Thanks so much for having me. It's exciting. So tell us, what is Lutheran Youth Fellowship? So Lutheran Youth Fellowship is a, a group in the Senate that's really big into making sure that we equip youth to lead in the church. Um, a lot of what we do is providing resources to DCEs and pastors to help those youth learn to lead. Um, we do a training every year that we bring a bunch of youth um, from across the country to St. Louis and... Uh, we equip them with a training that they get to bring back to their congregations, to their districts, and all those kinds of things like that. Um, that's most of what we do. And this last year's training, uh, I understand, was focused on helping them be faithful witnesses. Yes, yeah, so we've had um, three trainings that we've done so far. Um, well, I've been on the executive team. Um, Rooted Identity is actually a session that we're leading here at the, at the National Youth Gathering. Um, everyone has witnessed we've also done. Um, and then we're, we're starting to do more of a centered-wide type of training, too. And so we, if, you, if you've done the centered-wide training, we do the Lassie training. Um, it's a good time. Uh, so we, we change them up every year and kind of give a different group of kids the ability to come back and lead the same youth again, but with a different type of training and more resources and things like that. And Lassie, for those who have not participated in Everyone is Witness, <laughs> is listen, ask, seek, share, invite, encourage. You get to check out Everyone is Witness or LYF to find out a little bit more about that, though, right? Yes, exactly. And we have the eSource on the Elsimus website. It's a dollar to buy the eSource um, and lead it. It's uh, really easy to get on there and find all the resources we've done over the years and, and lead them with your youth group, have the youth that you have lead them and things like that. So on, as on the executive team, uh, what, what do you get to do with LYF? Yeah, so every year um, we get together and we meet for training to learn the training that we lead in March. Um, and then we're here at the, the National Youth Gathering leading the youth booth. Uh, we do a little bit of research to figure out what youth are interested in these days, um, trying to figure out, you know, do they want to learn more about really hard subjects? Do they want to learn more about um, things that are really impacting them in their lives every day? Um, and then we also come to the Church Workers Conference every year, and we lead a session there as well. What have you learned uh, as you're in this role working with youth, <laughs> working with youth, working with uh, pastors and church leaders? Uh, how have you grown uh, in this role and, and working with all of these people? Yeah, so that's a very large question. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I've learned quite a lot over the last three years. Um, going in, you know, you, you kind of, as being on a team as well, um, mm -hmm. you go and you, you think you're a good leader. Your, your youth group sends you because you're the leader in your youth group. But working as a team together, you know, that, that type of atmosphere of making sure that you're working with each other instead of against each other, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. but then also, I learned a lot about how there's a lot of youth that really have the skills and have the ability to be leaders, mm -hmm. but they just have to have... Um, just have to have that push and those resources to get through to it. Mm -hmm. And when they come to our training and they, they get our resources and everything, that's where they get that push. Mm -hmm. And so getting that ability is, is a big part of, of what we're trying to do. Absolutely. Tell us more about the activities here at the National Youth Gathering that, that LYF is doing. Yeah, so we, um, like I said, we, we're, we're running the youth booth. Um, and so what we do is is that research like that. And it's really kind of fun that we get to meet those people because we're in college too. And so all these high school youth come up, and they're like, oh, hey, how's it going? And they think we're kind of youth with them and kind of fun <laughs> stuff like that. And we get to chat with them. And so um, we get to run focus groups and things like that to just kind of chat and hear what people have to say, what their, what their worries are, what's on their minds. Um, and we spend a lot of fun time doing that. We're also here to bring on our next executive team. And so our, my three years is up, sadly <laughs> enough. Um, but we're bringing on a whole new group of, of executive team members that are all in high school right now. And so for the next three years, they're going to start in high school and go through and lead a whole new group of high schoolers into this leadership training. Wow. Now, I know you mentioned you know, focus groups and, and pulling the students as well. Anecdotally, what are you learning from the students? What are their concerns? What are some of the things that you're hearing from students this year? Yeah, actually, um, a big thing that we've heard uh, lately is LGBTQ rights, um, talking about those kinds of things. Um, we see abortion all the time. We do, we've done one about um, who's a big role model in your life. We see a lot of 
friends and family and pastors and DCEs that were the big role model in their life. Um, we've, we've done one that was, what would it take for you to be a church worker? Really interesting. Um, not everything is money driven, um, but like resource driven and understanding what church work is really like. Um, just kind of things like that, that you know, we kind of think are important and we'd like to know and how they can help the church grow. And they, uh, they bring a lot of information to that table. What are you able to do with that information? What, what has that impact been on the, on the, the youth that, you've, that you work with? So what we do is, this is actually, they'll use this in the youth ministry office as a whole. And so they do the cycles, which is every three years for the National Youth Gathering. And we'll take all this data and, you know, for the next long period of time, they'll compile <laughs> all of it and do their best they can. And they'll figure out, you know, what is the youth want to hear more about. And then they'll build their Bible studies and they'll build their the part of the youth gathering, their sessions. They'll build off of that information. And then they'll put out those resources for DCEs and pastors on that e-source mm-hmm. to make sure that those DCEs and pastors have the ability to teach and to um, and that the youth have the chance to learn about all those things that are impacting them a lot. The National Youth Gathering this year, 20 to 22,000 people here at the gathering. I'm, ga- I'm, I'm guessing you probably don't get to sit down and talk with all 20,000 youth at, the, at the, the event, but how many students do you typically get to, to visit with at a gathering like this? So um, we don't get to chat with everybody for sure. <laughs> um, we actually have started doing um, the poll. Uh, uh-huh. We do a poll every year um, to, to do what, exactly what we've been talking about, and we put it on the app, the gathering app. And so if you go into that gathering app and you pull up the, uh, the, the poll, there's your bookmark, and on the bookmark is a code. And you put in the code, and you get to take this 10-minute poll. And what's really important about that is that, you know, we don't have a ton and ton of people taking the poll, and if you take the poll, then we know what you want. And so we know what you need to learn about. If you don't take the poll, we can't know what you want to learn about. Um, so that's one of the things that we're trying to do so that we can talk to all 20, 22,000 people is having that poll on that app is really important. But we usually get probably five or 600 people that come through our booth every day and write on our boards and um, do our focus groups and things like that. But the poll app is a huge deal to us this year because, or the poll on the app is a huge deal for us this year because that will be a way that all 20,000 people can have their voices heard. Sure. I keep seeing the, the reminders every day encouraging yeah. <laughs> uh, youth and adults to use the app and, and take the poll, answer the questions, and provide some input then. Um, and that, that, that gives an opportunity, as you said earlier, to... Um, to really pose those those difficult questions that they're struggling with so that we know what to address then in the future in terms of Bible studies and sessions as well. So what's next for you, Connor, since you're ushering in the next executive team? What's on deck? So um, funny enough, I'm actually not a Concordia student. I go to the University of Kansas, and I'm pre-med. Um, oh, and nice. so I, my, God has called me to be a doctor and uh, serve him that way. Um, but it's one of the things that I really like about LYF is that You know, um, a couple of us on the team are not Concordia students. We're not going to church work. Um, We're just, you know, lay people that want to serve and want to help other teens lead. I mean, teens, teaching teens to lead is what we're big about in LYF. And, you know, you don't have to be a church worker to be a leader in your church. And so that's what uh, I'm just pre-med going to going, getting ready to go to medical school. (laughs) Just pre-med. Just pre-med. No big deal. Good time. (laughs) So how do you think your experience as a a, a leader with LYF and being a part of the National Youth Gathering and a college student, how do you think that that will impact your vocations in the future? You talked about, you know, being uh, being a physician and and certainly God needs uh, God uses faithful physicians to to care for his people. How do you think all of this experience uh, in in your leadership in LYF is going to? Uh, make a difference for you in your future vocations. Oh well, I mean, the the leadership aspect in its in in itself is is huge. Um, the teamwork that we get to go through. I mean, being in healthcare, a lot of what I'll do is that that teamwork aspect, and working as a team is extremely important. And that's a big part of what OIF is. But really, leadership in general, of making sure that you can share your faith and how to lead others to share their faith as well, is a is a huge part of what I'll do. And actually, one of the poll questions that we've done is, you know, what do you see yourself doing in the next 25, 30 years? And healthcare has been a huge part of that. Lots of nurses, doctors, um, different types of areas in healthcare. I was very surprised as well. (laughs) And so a lot of a lot of those people, a lot of teams right now are looking at going to the healthcare field and hopefully sharing their using that vocation to share their their faith as well. It's a very important vocation. Yes, for Uh, sure. And and to be able to be comfortable sharing your faith and and be confident in that is would be a a huge thing, a very important thing. 
how have you seen, uh, you talked about how it's impactful for you. How, is, how have you seen that in your, your I don't know, colleagues, um, the people that you work with? Is, is that the same kind of impact that you've seen with, with the people that you've worked with? Absolutely. Um, I know a couple of them were kind of on the fence of what they wanted to do with their life and then became DCEs. So, yes, they've <laughs> definitely impacted them that way. Um, but uh, like I said, a couple of them are... Um, One's a psychology major that wants to be a, a psychologist, um, an international psychologist, oh, wow. and she's looking at, you know, doing a lot of research for the youth ministry and doing and using her psychology uh, degrees to, to be a part of youth ministry, and that's kind of narrowed since we first started. She really wants to get into that um, into that church aspect of it. And then another guy that I ha that we have um, is an engineering student nice. at the University of Michigan, and yeah. Uh, yeah. go blue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that all the time, all the time. But he uh, he just got an internship on campus with one of the LCMS um, churches on campus. And so, you know, he, it wasn't something he was really fitting into his schedule to do anything like that. And then this last year, he was like, you know, I really want to do this. I really want to be in the church. I really like mm -hmm. being in the church. And this is the next step for me and how I can do that. Yeah. You mentioned uh, bringing on the next executive team of high schoolers. What is that? Um, have you been able to see the transformation of, of, of youth from the beginning of not really being leaders into what what it turns out to when you when you come out of the program yeah so we have a few that come back every year and enjoy things like that um, one of the things with these high schoolers is they um, they're really sophomores and juniors right now mm -hmm. and so they're in the middle of that um, that time of life where they're trying to figure out what they want to do in the world and at the same time we're gonna get together with them and teach them how to be that leadership for others who are trying to figure out what they're going to do in this world. That mm -hmm. they really have that one, that that impact and that um, insight because they're sitting there with each other, with the other teens, and able to go through and say, "I'm struggling with the same things you're struggling, and here's mm -hmm. how we can deal with it with God by our side." Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're talking with Connor Works. He's the, on the executive team for Lutheran Youth Fellowship, finishing up his term uh, on the executive team and spending some time with him here at the LCMS National Youth Gathering. Connor, thank you so much for taking some time here at the KFUO booth to share Absolutely. your story. Yes, thank you so much for having me. really enjoyed it. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golson.